Okay, I'll try my best to be quick, but I'm trying to be into detail as well of how to get the Cloud Strike on Exotic's rifle. Uh, the first thing to do is go to the Stranger, and she has a new quest. After the road was completed, she has a new quest to pick up uh, uh, from her. And once you do that quest, you want to go to the Eclipse uh, Zone in the Europa. Uh, this is the first week, so I don't know the full results of this, but uh, I, what I do know is that um the eclipse zone rotates between the three zones and right now it's in eventide ruins i might be in cadmus ridge or whatever the other one's called uh you have to go in that area and do uh patrols or just get kills or uh do heroic public events to get progress the fastest way to do it is just to do patrols the patrols give you 15 percent progress um, if you don't have a if you don't have a heroic public event, then just do patrols until one does pop up. Then just go do it. But you have to do it in the zone that has eclipse. You can see that on the map, the giant brown diamond or sh pyramid ship, whatever it's called, right? And once you finish that, you go back to the stranger and you want to go to Varix after that. So we're gonna see here the uh, quest she has for us here. The quest is called a hard rain falls. And like I just explained earlier, just do those patrols, do the heroic public events, whatever you want. Grants you the most progress, just do that. Now once you've done that quest step, you want to head back to Varix and head and go to his sabotage page here. Now don't be surprised that I have this done already, but once you do that, it unlocks the other half of the sabotage quests he has. These are the permanent buffs you can get on Europa and it gives you some benefits. And the one you want to do is Europ Europan Explorer 2. Now this allows you to unlock electric difficulty for empire hunts and why you need to do this well here's a spoiler i didn't know what i didn't say at the beginning but you have to do these empire hunts and it'll be a random drop chance from doing those the match me activity and we'll show you how it looks like and what it does and all that stuff um but of course first you do european explorer one and then european explorer two to get this completed um and to what you need to do for european explorer two you have to go into an empire hunt so one of these options here and get 30 challenging uh, opponent kills. So they're either yellow bars or orange bars. Now, the one I did was the warrior. Now, I don't know how much orange bars and yellow bars are in the, these two over here. Um, but I did the warrior uh, killing uh, Felix, whatever his name is or her name is. Um, but... Uh, there i did do it in one run it did get, i was able to get 30 orange kills in one go uh you, my your best bet is that if you don't have uh, all 30 30 kills by the end of the boss battle uh she does spawn orange bars um when she does her boss battle so on her third phase she spawns these fallen captains twice so you just that's four kills right there if you're not don't have 30 just go kill yourself uh, that sounds pretty bad for the YouTube algorithm, but just go jump off and reset the uh, oh, reset the encounter, and then you can pretty much get uh, the rest of the kills from the orange bars. And that's how I did that one. And you come back to Varix, and then when now when you go to your map here, right, you head up here, and now you have this new button, this new banner here. Click on it. I could choose from three to four different difficulties. You got Adept, Hero, Legend, Master. Legend and Master don't have matchmaking, but Adept and Hero has matchmaking on it. And when you hover over this, it'll say Rewards, Cloud Strike, Rare. Now, I'm going to show you an example. Just, I already have it already. Uh, I'll show you how when I got it and how it dropped. But let me go to my stream I had earlier today uh, and uh, show you guys what it looks like in-game, what you see. Okay, so here's the example for my stream. This is my first time seeing this. So uh, when you do have this for the first time, you want to click on it, right? And you want to difficulty. Now when you hover over, you can see rewards, cloud strike rare. Doesn't matter what difficulty you do. You can do, you can farm adept, you can farm a hero, you can farm legend or master. Uh, it is all the same rarity, all the same drop rate. For me, when I did, I farmed a hero. You can farm adept if you want. Adept takes like four minutes to clear. I did hero and hero took six minutes each clear. Um, it took me about 10 to 11 tries to do it. Uh, the reason why I did hero, because there are champions that spawn in hero, and there are some quests or some sab sabotage quests that Varix has to kill champions or do uh, hero difficulties, basically. And then also, uh, there was a triumph where you get you can get 100 champion kills in Empire Hunts. You will get an emblem, but I only got 80, so 
adding it yet but there you go uh that is the reason why there, there's, there's an example we got that one that's empire hunts and this one too you get higher difficulties give you that quest so uh there's efficiency of farming cloud strike if you do all varix's quests at the sabotage quest at the same time so there is that as well all right so here's when i actually got it about let me see five hours into, <laughs> into the stream i wasn't farming it for five hours i did the the sword quest and all that stuff so uh, you don't want to hear my reaction it's very cringy but you know it's, it's what you get for farming for this for about an hour like 10 runs six minutes each seven minutes maybe an hour and 20 minutes around there but as you can see here this is this is the empire strike the dark priestess pete priestess uh there it is right there cloud strike um and uh what do you call it uh that strike or not strike but the empire sh hunt might rotate weekly or daily uh there's like this one is for killing critis and there's the other two so it might be different if you're watching this but uh yeah, there you go that is the cloud strike that's how you get it that's all the steps it is a random chance you gotta keep farming the empire hunts uh here and there I did try it out in PvP. I don't know if you want to go see a clip of that. I mean, it's only six minutes long, this video. We go a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe turn on some volume and see my reaction of my bad sniping skills. But you, this is the most, the best you can get for me from sniping, honestly. So, maybe the aim, aim assist is a bit wonky. But uh, here, let me let me show you guys what I'm talking about real quick. Like, uh, okay, so here's my cringy self here uh, playing as a sniper rifle in PvP. Oh my god. God gamer. Not even it. Oh my god, don't even look. <sighs> so cringy. Don't man. even look, boys. Must have some heavy aim assist or something. What? That wasn't a headshot, guys. Run the strikes? Yeah. It's pretty good of that when I shred. All right, you got one more clip here. This guy, this is, this is not the shot. Really. Look at this. Boom. What? No way. That's not. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Yeah, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right, guys. Where's this guy? And I guess uh, here's a little big crit spot here. So if you do like, tr it's like triple tap three three headshots in a row, if it doesn't uh, get, uh, you know, if it doesn't kill, it will do like damage using the strikes, extra damage. Um, of course, if you get a headshot, no matter what, it will always do the like Thunder Lord thing, but it does not stack. Like Thunder Lord, if you do like, it will chain react. Well, this one, it doesn't chain react. But like, if you get like multiple headshots in a row, uh, you will get uh, the. Our, uh, the uh, arc reaction with it. It's how fast it shoots. It shoots pretty fast. And yeah, that's pretty much it right there. And it's, take it as you like it. I don't know if you want to grind for it. I mean, you have to grind for the uh, uh, Empire Hunts anyways to do to finish the uh, Varric stuff. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it uh, for this video. Hopefully it helps. Uh, much shorter because there's not much to talk about. Unless I miss something, then I suck. I guess. There you go cringy voice with me narrating it, I guess. There you go.